Cafe, Gabrielle Donnelly Ramos. Hi, I'm Riley Calloway, and I'm here in support of the ordinance representing Stand United. Um, I did not come here to speak, but after hearing what Karen here behind me said, I needed to speak up. Um, she's upset because her officer husband is being cussed at and supposedly followed and spit on, but I just want to point out that people who are black have had to endure all of that and brutality at the hands of the people who are supposed to protect them for over 400 years, which is why we are here to protest in the first place. So I am sorry that in the last 10 days you have felt just a little bit uncomfy, but I hope that you can understand that you've now had a fraction of a taste of it. And if you've got any empathy in that little blue heart of yours, then I suggest that you start looking at this from the other side, the morally, legally, and ethically correct side. It is not a blue life, it is a fucking blue shirt. Another Karen earlier, another Karen earlier said, if someone broke the law, then they should be arrested. Okay, so then let, let's arrest the police who said, screw everything that they learned in their supposed max of six months of training, and let's arrest the police who turn off their cameras. Let's arrest the police who use violence against people on the opposing side just to prove an invalid made up point. If someone broke the law, they should be arrested. So let's arrest them. Someone here said that we are not against you. We just want you to do what you swore to do, which is protect and serve. So why are we protecting ourselves against you? If you are more concerned about protecting property rather than law-abiding citizens, then you are the problem. We show up in t-shirts and holding signs, but the officers and military are showing up locked and loaded with bulletproof shields to protect them against what? Paper cuts? After a ma probable maximum of six months of training, you can't handle someone yelling facts in your face? At this point, the opposers know what the right decision is. Karen, you were not at the protest. We were. We saw what happened with our own eyes. You watched the news. That is the difference. We are speaking on experience and you are speaking out of willful ignorance. But enough about her. I am really here to tell all of you to vote yes because the wall behind you says, let honor, truth, and justice rule within these walls. And I hope that you abide by that. Thank you.